What's up, guys? This is Rock Mind. Coming to you live. Filming the big minus. He's been kind of active today. And somebody asked me, um, how do you care for a mighty cichlid? And um, these are fairly easy cichlids to care for. They don't require much. Um, all they require is some good, clean water. Do a good, clean water change every so often. And he'll be just fine. They'll do just fine. So, you know, uh, uh, as far as the feeding go, you, I feed my mitis cichlis only pellets. I get some veggie base, can, the veggie pellets. I get a, a pellet that's combined with, with, um, let me just, let me just show y'all. I'll do better showing you. <laughs> right now I got some uh, new life spectrum. The big boy. I only feed my cichlids, my mighty cichlids, pellets. And that's about it. I'll give them some veggies too. But this guy, he's kind of active today for some reason. Well, he's always active, but he's really active right now. So for us as food, just feed them pellets, keep clean water, and you can care for them easy. Give them lots of space. Right now, this guy's in a 120 gallon. For some reason, he's chasing that um, small trimac today. He normally doesn't pay her any mind. Um, maybe he's on one today. Well, that's that's basically the general care. Just keep the clean water and you know, feed them pellets. Don't feed them any live. I don't feed my, my trimac, not my trimac. I don't feed my uh, mitis cichlid any live food. None whatsoever. And whenever I feed them live food, I just have issues with them. There's always some type of disease they can potentially get. So to cut down on diseases, uh, I don't feed the fish any live food. I just feed them pellets. I don't even feed them uh, frozen food. I used to feed them sometimes, feed them frozen foods, but I would still get a lot of clean, clean, dirty water issues. And, you know, I like to keep the water clean. Look at him. That's a beautiful fish right there. That is a nice fish right there. Mitis sickness are my favorite fish. Because they're easy to take care of and they're very interactive with their owners. So if you want a nice interactive fish, you definitely will want to get you a Midas. This guy, he's been ticking for 13 years now. They say their lifespan is 12. This guy already exceeded it. And he don't show any signs of slowing down. So some people say, how do you get it? How do you get it? How do you get them to, to live so long? Just keep clean water. Don't put a bunch of chemicals in your water. Just do water change. Put some... It's a solution to get the uh, ammonia out the water. And that's pretty much it. You will be a fisher. And another thing you don't want to do is feed them too much. I don't feed this guy every day. Actually, I feed him like once every other day or maybe once in two days. I'm not saying go that long, but I don't feed my fish every day as well. I think that's the key to longevity. Kind of like us humans. If we overeat, well, we know the result of overeating. It decreases years of our life.
And I think it does the same with these guys. If you don't overfeed the fish when you're feeding them, feed them pellets. Don't overfeed. Just feed them up enough enough food. You don't want to have food floating around in your tank when you when you finish feeding them, because that pollutes the tank and then that uh, makes your water quality not as good. You have a fish with poor water quality. You you might have issues. These guys are hardy. Even with poor water quality, they can they can last. But you don't want to have poor water quality. You want to have some good water quality if you're taking care of a mite sick. Um, a lot of people say they want fish. Uh, you can only put you can't put anything in the tank with them. That's not been my. Um, I haven't had that experience. This guy always had tank mates. Now he's always been a dominant tank. I wouldn't put a put a male trimac or uh, put a dovi or anything with them. Them dovis to me is single <laughs> single fish uh, in a, in a one tank. But if you have a, a a Midas cichlid, I've had I, I've had them with other Midases. It depends on the um, it depends on how large the aquarium is, really. If you have a larger aquarium, you know you can put more fish in there. You know you got a three hundred gallon tank, you can fill them up with different types of fish. A Midas will do just fine. You got a six hundred, a thousand gallon tank, the Midas is there. There. You'll do just fine. Now, if you got a 55-gallon tank, you might only want to put this guy in there. Probably need a bigger tank for him. But I, I've, I've had this guy with uh, actually a couple pairs of Jaguar cichlids. And um, they did just fine. It was a male and female, female Jaguar cichlid. Jaguar cichlid was like 14 inches. A little bit longer than this guy. And they got along pretty well. Sometimes they would bluff with each other. Um, but um, I eventually had to put the jaguar sickle in his own tank just because these are two massive fish and they need a lot of space. And actually, I had a Budokofari as well in there with them, and um, the Budokofari was causing havoc. So I eventually uh, put the Budokofari in its own tank. All large fish, but, you know, other smaller fish this guy been with, he been with convicts and um, a bunch of clown loaches. He never really ever paid the clown loaches any any attention. I had him in there with a low cell eye. So he always had tank mates. So I just figured I might as well keep some tank mates in, in, in with him. There's some people, they say, you can't put anything in a tank with my Midas. Maybe your Midas may be in a small tank. Or, you know, maybe they have different di temperaments. This one, um, the, the, the Midas's that I've had in my experiences, uh, my 20 plus years of keeping Midas cichlids, is that they can be, they are aggressive fish, but they can coexist with other fish in the tank if you have a nice spacious tank. I might add some more clown loaches to this tank. Um, he, he doesn't pay the clown loaches any mind. I keep him some company. Let me get a close up on this guy. So you see me going close to the tank, and then he, here he goes. This guy's huge. And chasing that trap man. I'm gonna have to put her in her own tank. He normally doesn't pay her any mind. I had a nice male trimac for her. And um I don't know what happened to the guy. He one day I woke up and um he wasn't doing too good. And then he didn't make it.
That female trimac is not that small either. She just looks so small next to him. She's actually pretty big. You can see I got a flower pot next to next to him to show you how large he is. It's a big guy. You go to the tank, he's just gonna face you. So let me just summarize this up. To care for these fish, keep clean water, number one. Do frequent water changes. I do a water change every week with this guy for some reason. I normally used to go once every two weeks. I do one every week. I get tired of hearing the noise from the um, filter, so I change it. You fill it up, you won't, it won't be as loud. Don't feed them, don't overfeed them when you feed them. When I say overfeed, meaning you got pellets floating around. Also, when you feed the fish, I don't, I don't feed them any, any live food that keeps down on disease. Also, I don't feed my fish every day. I think it adds years to, to, to their life and it keeps down on diseases. I, I actually think keeping, look, keeping some tank mates with him gives as add years to their life um every fish that i had solo that i only kept in the tank by themselves they never lasted as long as the fish that i had with other fish so uh the way i raise my fish is i, I like to keep them uh, with other fish always i never have a tank with just only one fish when it's a tank with only just one fish the fish tend not to live many years when I keep tank mates with my fish, they always last for a long time. So that's another um, kind of what I've seen work for me since I've been having these fish. And every single fish that I ever had, even when I had other mitises and I kept them by themselves, um, they didn't last that many, many years. I don't think fish are designed to stay alone. I think they need some type of interact interaction. Think to add years to their life. Don't feed the fish every day. When they're young, you can get away with feeding them more so, maybe every day. But once they you reach a, a, adults, I don't think you need to feed the fish every day. That works for me. All right, there's a video on how you care for the mitis cichlid. If you have any questions. Feel free to leave your comments. Subscribe to the channel. I will be putting more videos out of different cichlids. I've been keeping these fish for years. I started keeping these fish since 1998. So I've been in the game for a, a, a little while. Not long as uh, some of my other buddies that keep fish, but enough to have some experience and share the advice on these fish so if you if you if you like what you hear if you want more videos of uh how to care for for your fish hit that subscribe button all right i'm out